family. You just went through a gate that uh, led you to what is known today as a Temple Mount. This is guess we the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount is the whole area that uh, was uh, kind of uh, referred to as an area for Jews to come and pray in, in around the temple. Now listen, temple area, temple. Court of the Gentiles. Everybody is allowed to enter. Jews, non-Jews. Temple area, only Jews. Why? I refer specifically to the temple and the temple. The reason is, Jesus talked about the temple, that there would be no stone on a stone that would be standing. He referred to the temple. He said the temple. I refer to the temple now. Today, of the temple mount, we have remainings of uh, the four supporting walls or retaining walls the way you like to call it of the whole complex and why is that here folks there's a mountain what is the name of that mountain Mount Moriah. and this mountain is down below us and it goes on a certain angle kind of a, a, on a 36 degree angle to be able to build such a complex first step second step you needed to build a retaining wall and then fill up those, uh, the area in the retaining walls and on top of it, build the temple <coughs> So we do have remains of the walls around that goes back all the way to the beginning of the second temple, not of the first temple. What that to be clear. Some say, hey, we found off the first temple on the Temple Mount area. No, in front of the first temple. Out, other areas here, here, okay, but not of the area known as. This is where Abraham bring Isaac to Jesus. And this is where the first and the second temple Stand. First temple, then central BC to the year six, uh, 686 after Christ. Jews are exiled and come back 70 years later by the year 615 with Ezra and Nehemiah and builds eventually the walls of the city and the uh, foundations uh, of uh, the uh, walls surrounding the temple. Uh, foundations. And then, as the year go by, some more and more of the temple is being built. And by the way, the temple, the second temple, was standing from 515 to 70 AD. We're talking about close to 600 years. And it was constantly built. Constantly, things were added, constantly were renovated, and so on and so on. For example, this whole area that you're standing on from that staircase, all the way to the other side of this uh, mosque, over here, let's say, this is where that staircase is. This whole area sits on about over a thousand arches beneath us that uh, <laughs> were supporting this eventually extension of the temple built in the time of Herod. And by mistake, but that's what happened when a name sticks to an area, it is known as Solomon's Stables. Those uh, uh, in the past, that you do with those arches and so on. Here, close by, there were stables, okay, that were used uh, for a very short time by Solomon, okay? <laughs> but the one that named it uh, the uh, Solomon Stables were the Crusaders, and since then, everybody calls it Solomon Stables. So, folks, we are standing on a thousand of arches that supports this floor, starting all the way from the staircases over there, going all the way behind us, and uh, to the other side. It had to be quite massive, folks, because this mosque that you see over here was built in the year 701. Make it short about the Muslims. Jerusalem is one of the
one of the three holy cities for Islam. And uh, and that it is one of the three holy cities of Islam. You have Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. But the Muslim will never call it Jerusalem. They will call it Al Quds. That's their name for the city. What was it? Al Quds. That's the name for it in Arabic. And uh, Jerusalem is never mentioned by its name, Jerusalem, in the Quran. In the Bible, 182 times. In the Quran, not even once. But they decide that uh, uh, following a certain story of Muhammad getting on a horse that was half a woman and half uh, a, uh, uh, a horse. <coughs> Do you remember what was the name of that horse? Mm -hmm. I showed that with you. Pan. 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 No, Pan was that pagan Caesarea Philippi exactly pagan Hellenistic God half a goat half a unity we're talking over here about the Muslim story about Muhammad so-called night of uh, midnight journey okay to according to them this place and uh, angel Gabriel come to him and present him with a horse that was half a horse and half a woman the upper part was a woman Lower part was a horse, and what was the name of that horse? Barak. You got it. Oh, that's right. And Barak, Barak eventually landed at the corner of a mountain. You see this mosque. The name of this mosque is El Aqsa. <coughs> Kat means corner. According to that story, this is where he landed with the horse, left the horse, and went up. And there, above a rock, where they say that uh, Abraham brought Ishmael to be sacrificed, he ascended. Do you follow? That's the reason you find this mosque and that mosque over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, what happens is that those mosques uh, are eventually here. But uh, something happens before that. What was here before the mosques? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the temple is destroyed at what year? The second temple. At the year 70 AD, right? And uh, something that uh, this place was turning to a city garbage dump. But the, by the year uh, 386, when the Byzantines eventually came in power with Constantine and Helena, he turned the Temple Mount into the city garbage dump. That's why the gate you pass through is known by the name Down Gate. Why have Constantine done that, folks, in the beginning of Christianity? Because Christianity have seen Judaism as a main rivalry. Anything to do to erase Judaism, well, that would be the best thing to do. That's how this place turns into a city garbage dump. And now when the Muslims come eventually, and that uh, was 635, and by 701, this one was built by 702. This one was inaugurated. By the way, that's uh, a memorial. That's a mosque. You take my word, folks, and I'll prove to you there's another mosque over there that you didn't know about, but there's another mosque over there. So over there, folks, uh, that's a memorial that eventually is on uh, that uh, rock that they say he, Muhammad, ever said. And uh, Abraham brought Ishmael to be something. Is that clear about the post? Great. Folks, when the Crusaders came over here at uh, uh, 1110 and were here in Jerusalem to 1187, they turned those two mosques into temples. And that's how the Templars order was funded here up on the Temple Mount. The order, the famous order of the Temple Knights, was funded here as guardians of uh, those two temples that were in the past mosques, and now they are in the Christian temple. That was uh, at 1130 to 1187, when eventually 1187, the Battle of the Horns of Etin by Tiberius, with Saladin, Baldwin, they at first loses the battle and taken as captivity to Egypt. And uh, uh, two weeks later, as he left no one to uh, uh, defend Jerusalem, because he took all of the knights and his army to Tiberius, Saladin take over Jerusalem and turn those two back into this. So you have eventually temples between 1130, uh, uh, between 1130 to 1187. That was the time period. 1187, that was it. But it wasn't the end of the Crusaders' kingdom because the Crusaders were here all the way to 1290. Only then they left from Atlita and Jaffa.